What's going on guys, Andrew here, and I'm back with another video. I know, well first of all, I know I stepped out of the light. I know it's been a while, please forgive me. I don't wanna go too big into details. But now, as I'm slowly trying to get back into be uploading on a consistent schedule, making good quality videos, I did want, want to mention this. I started writing my review on my uh, Ender 3. In the meantime, I had a couple problems. First off, when I was setting it up, for the first time i crushed one of the wires and i took it out it still worked fine for a little bit but the longer i used it the more more and more it started breaking and also wanted to make some few upgrades a few simple upgrades before my, my final video because um, i'm still writing that like i had to i had to replace the wire for the limit switch right here um because it was first of all it was too high on the bed and it was already hitting the bottom so I took that stop piece off and then the wire would not work and it would keep coming out of the, the thing. This is the wire itself and as you can see I, I pulled it completely out. But my biggest pet peeve is the fact that every single one of these, where is it, there it is. Every single one, well almost every single one except for this one right over here, you know, uh, here it is. This wire for the fan. Every single one of those wires is hot glued. Like, if I needed to replace one simple wire, the wire for the Z-axis limit switch, it should not be a pain in the ass. I mean, this is like, this is the actual, you know, like Creality branded limit switches. Like I bought, it was a three pack of limit switches and the wires to it. That was only 20 bucks. Which is it's fine and dandy because I needed it. Plus I have backup now in case the limit switch breaks or if I break the other wire again or both. But why, why, tell me why, Creality, tell me why is every connector in there not only pushed in with its own locking mechanism, but hot glued as well. Like to me as, as you know, a right to repair addict, advocate not addict it doesn't make sense to me unless you're preventing uh, anti-repair prevention measure don't start being like apple and lock down the device so much to where you just need to buy a brand new one because i feel like that's where i'm at with this 3d printer right here when i i i should be able to replace one wire simply just by disconnecting and connecting a new one not having to fight hot glue risk breaking something else to where i would have to basically replace the whole board this is just a rant video new videos are coming out soon i'm working on them give me time even though it's already been almost a year at this point i just want to finish my review and to make cool shit with my 3d printer that's it that's all i want Okay, <clears throat> so I, I finally got it fixed. It took me about 10 minutes just straight grinding at the, the hot glue for me to be able to break it off and pry out the original connector that was in there because the wire was already pulled out because I was that stupid already. As you can see over here, and my light died on me over here charging, but as you can see, it's actually working now. So, I got it back working. I don't know why they decided to do it like that, but it's back working again. So, the video is still gonna be up, and I got big plans for this right here. 